We've been here in Rec Bay on San Cristobal Island now for a couple of weeks. Uh, last week you saw us take our first land tour, and this week we thought we'd take you out on the high seas and go snorkeling with the hammerhead sharks and an assorted variety of sea life. Uh, then we're going to explore the port itself and see what there is to see around here. We've got some tourist attractions and some great restaurant recommendations for you. Check it out. I better put my hat on backwards. It's a badass hammerhead shark diver now. So right now we have uh, no connectivity to the Sea Talk network, and it's very challenging to troubleshoot. Yay. And I'm going to try to make sure this doesn't fall on her and chop off her little fingers. Because then she'll have to work with her toes. Cream of tomato soup with popcorn. And we now learn how to eat this. And you just throw your popcorn in your soup. kids out. This little guy decided that uh, he wanted to stay on our boat instead. And let him sleep a little bit longer. What are you doing Captain Kevin? I am taking advantage of some of this fresh fruit that we picked yesterday on shore and I'm making myself a glass of orange juice right now. Mm, uh, they're juice. actually so juicy you can't even hardly eat them. Oh look at Kevin getting his vitamin C. My vitamin C. It's a pain in the ass. I'd rather buy it in a carton. <laughs> Today is a working day for the crew on Gargoyle. Our first stop is to drop off our laundry and for $1.50 a kilo, it's a much better option than doing everything by hand. Then we are off to find some double face tape for another boat project, which we are going to tackle later today. After roaming through the streets of the town to find the largest hardware store, we finally have it. Now it's a quick walk back to pick up the laundry and head back to Gargoyle to complete our project. During our passage, uh, we found one problem, um, and that's this right here. As you look kind of above our cabinetry, um, this vinyl has come off. So that's what it looks like without the vinyl. And if we go to the other side of the boat, this is what it looks like with the vinyl. So here it is. Of course, there always has to be a cat involved. We're going to take off some of this foam so that the double face tape's got something to stick on. In the meanwhile, we're also going to clean the wall so that um, we get all the foam off of it and it's got a nice clean surface to stick on. It's not 100% perfect, but uh, hopefully it will uh, get us through until we get to Panama and we can get some reinforcements with tape and a few other things. This morning, where are we going? We are going to kick a rock. We're going to dive with the hammerhead sharks. I better put my hat on backwards. It's a badass hammerhead shark diver now. Or snorkel. Da -da. Da -da. Da -da. Da -dun, da -dun, da -dun. We are just waiting for our water taxi. Water taxi. It's the first time we've called for a water taxi that hasn't been here before we could get the door locked. Before I can get my shoes on. The one time we have to be somewhere. There it is. There it is. Got Hola. It? We leave Gargoyle and head into town via the water taxi to check in for our tour. We are wondering how the water taxi driver already knew we were going on a tour with Cindy Soul, but after a quick conversation with the new passenger, we realized he was on a mission for a quick repair before our departure.
quick check-in and we are back in the water taxi to board Cindy Soul and start our adventure. An hour later, Cindy Soul has reached Kicker Rock and everyone is suited up and ready to go. Once everyone's in the water, we head over and try to catch some sea life. Kevin and I now have a great appreciation for those who video underwater. We did see hammerhead sharks, play with sea lions, and saw many, many turtles. However, we need to practice on our underwater videotography. As we headed through the channel, we had some unexpected GoPro issues. Unfortunately, this is the last of our video. After an hour and a half of snorkeling, we all pile back into Cindy Soul to head to Playa Menglesito for lunch. The crew on Cindy Soul were amazing, from suiting everyone up to making a spectacular lunch. We highly recommend them for tours on San Cristobal. After lunch and a siesta, Cindy Soul pulled up anchor, and an hour later, we returned to Wreck Bay. Here we go. Centro de Interpretacion. As we wait to see if there's an opportunity for any other tours, we decide to walk around and check out the local attractions around the port. Our first stop is the Interpretation Center, about a 15 minute walk from the waterfront. The Interpretation Center takes you through the history and settlement of the islands. All exhibits and photography are explained in English and Spanish and start with the explanation of the different natural facts such as the volcanic origin of the islands, its currents, the special climate, and the arrival of different species. It then transitions into the narration of the most significant events related to the discovery and colonization of the Galapagos, providing you the history of interesting characters such as Manuel J. Cobos, Baroness Wagner de Bouquet, and other European settlers seeking paradise and fortune. The final building describes the reality of today's Galapagos, the problems and struggles of several institutions and individuals who try to conserve these precious islands. After our trip to the Interpretive Center, we decide it's time for a treat, and we head to Midori to try out the local sushi. Ready for what? Cheers. Tuna sashimi, rolls. Oh, it's almost like home. Those are Captain Nash. Good, very good. Fabulous tuna sashimi. Mm. Highly recommended. Yum, yum, yum. We finished the day. The cappuccino and some fried ice cream. We are working on the source of much frustration to us on our trip. So right now we have uh, no connectivity to the SeaTalk network and it's very challenging to troubleshoot the SeaTalk network. Carla's donning her trusty headlamp and she's going to go below because we need to isolate what is causing the issue this time. Although every time we isolate it, it's a different issue and it never repeats itself. Carla's going back into her home away from home right now. Yay. And I'm gonna to try to make sure this doesn't fall on her and chop off her little fingers. Cause then she'll have to work with her toes. 
So at this point, we still have no instruments here. It's telling me I have no pilot, which I already know. Uh, Carla says there's one thing we haven't done yet, which I think is we haven't sacrificed a chicken. I have position, I think. I'm getting a, I'm getting a direction. No, nope, I don't have GPS yet, but my autopilot heading is up. So we're getting some data. So maybe it is that hub, or you think it's a cable? It's exciting here, folks. We're troubleshooting in real time. The joys of a computer network on a yacht in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. Well, at least in the Galapagos. Representative. Nothing more frustrating than being on hold eternally for tech support. Carla's prepping for all of her information here. But after an hour, it's not. How long have you been on this call? Sorry for the wait. Continue to hold. We are busier than normal today. They're busier People than normal today. Supply and receive a call tentative. One hour. Well, after crawling around for three or four hours and plugging cables and um, a relatively extremely frustrating call with Ray Marine, we continued to unplug um, our components as well as work with our backbone cable in the CTOP network. And we believe that the issue is coming from our transducer. So we've unplugged the depth and speed transducer from the CTOP network and right now GPS autopilot and our wind instruments are all working. Um, bad news is we don't have any depth and speed which impacts some of our electronics but at this point we can definitely make it back to Panama. With our electronics back together we set off to do a bit more exploring before we leave San Cristobal. We head out to Punta Carola first to check out the local beach and wildlife. The walk is approximately 20 minutes from the waterfront and the trail is well marked. From Punta Carola, you can head up to the main walkway and head over to Darwin Bay. Along the pathway, there are overlooks along the coastline and make sure you stop in to say hello to Sir Darwin and his friends who are overlooking his bay. years ago, Darwin and the Beagle dropped anchor in this small bay to start his exploration of the Galapagos Islands. This is a great bay to snorkel in at low tide, but due to timing, we opted to stay on dry land. Now it's time to head back to Gargoyle so we can get ready for our departure. There he is. Hey buddy. Hey buddy. What you doing? Yeah, it's like... Yeah, I'm looking over your right shoulder. Yeah, there she is. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Life is good. Hey. Hey. Hey, come on, guys. Break it up. Super windy today. Here guys, hopefully it's ready. And then we're gonna have lunch at Rizitos, our favorite spot. Ah. Beautiful. Perfect. How much? Twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. Yes. Gracias.
Okay. Take this. Yes. I'm ready. Oh, we should see what the special is first. We might need special. Yeah. And ceviche. Fish ceviche. Huh? With the. Do I do it? See? Cream of tomato soup with popcorn. And we've now learned how to make this. And you just throw your popcorn in your soup. It's time for round two. Course. We didn't even finish our soup. Cerveche, roasted corn, plantain, and rice. Oh. So we're unhappily anchored. Unhappily anchored in Rec Bay. There are some nights where it's actually not so bad in here. But then there are nights when the swell comes in and it just kicks the crap out of you. Tonight's one of those nights. Tonight is going to be one of those nights. Wow, what a fun week this has been. Uh, it's always been a dream to swim with sharks. Always been a little scared of that. Uh, sorry we didn't capture it on video. We will strive to do better in the future. Much more snorkeling with our GoPros indeed. Yes. So coming up, we'll be heading over for a night passage to Isabella Island. Uh, we'll have that and then we'll hopefully see some penguins. Penguins. Snorkeling with penguins. Thanks for watching. I wonder what ever happened to the Maytag repairman commercials from back in the past. Five bucks, five bucks, five bucks. Five bucks, five bucks, five bucks. Five bucks. Si. Si. Uno, dos, tres. Cinco en mudo. Grande en mudo. Our penguins are manta rays or reef sharks. Or fishes. Huh. Well, but she's just gonna edit all this out anyway.